now that everyone is reunited the search for the terminal can continue Kate said is dead set on finding it but that leaves one empty slot in your party more threats may be lurking within so choose your comrade wisely Five. gonna take earth with me This is the infamous room. Are we going to meet Vincent now? Hmm? Ah. 
the authorization at least. story and we'd love to tell you all about it but there's something we really need to look up first can't go letting our foe win the information war eh? your foe and who might that be bojo well stuff roth really general too a man who many people myself included once called a hero sephiroth <sighs> He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, it could destroy the planet, unless we stop him. I see. Uh, then I have one more sin to atone for. Wait, no, Vincent. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Come back. Join the party. Let me see if I can mess around with the coffin some more. Oh, <laughs> Vincent. He's already sleeping. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. I've never seen somebody fall asleep so quickly in my life. Let me see if there's anything new that I can make.
Me planet spirit. I need three giga potions. He's remembering the experiment. Cloud, let's get out of here. Oh no. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, he was an Vincent mistake. is no joke. Fight Vincent? Is he gonna turn into chaos? What is happening? Oh no, he turned into the wolf thing. That's his first transformation I think holy crap he looks way cooler than he does in, in the original game that's for sure Gallium Beast Weakness is fire. An enigmatic man who sleeps in a coffin shrouded in mystery. Aside from his alleged profession of security guard, he has transformed into a creature of chaos in an effort to ward off intruders. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him, making him flinch during inner turmoil or chaotic consumption will make him easier to pressure until he recovers. Can you take over for me? 
Let's hit him with Sonic Boom. Then we'll do Hold on, summon. Can you handle them? Leave it to me. Uh, that's it. Uh. Summon Odin. Odin is a two ATB summon. Okay. Ass. Deal with that. No need to Here we go. Is he going to transform again? Chaotic consumption. When I see that, do the limit break.
There you go. Look at that damage. This is such a cool boss fight. Extension on you and is over. Beautiful. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. This is so cool. Is this how you want your story to end? <sighs> bother him right now oh he locked the door damn Let's get out of here. Think there might be top secret material hidden somewhere here? Uh, that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. <sighs> Mom, Vincent, you know you want to join us.
It's sad that there's no upstairs though. I wanted to see those rooms. So sad. Would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. To the gold saucer. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we got her, once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Understand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Inflicting damage after he performs special attacks will pressure him. Oh, the fire! 
Oh no. God, I got caught again by that dumb move. God, are you kidding me? Okay. Break for you. How do you? You okay? Uh, uh, 
Uh, I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch! <laughs> It's one of them. This is our current time to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wu Tai's commander. Viceroy Saru.
This is definitely new. Who exactly is this Saruf? The Invisible Man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier, P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Redor on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> A spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lotbrock took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <sighs> Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixif? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look, smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Ooh. New quest star available. Singing Hedgecraft. The darting little cat I feed from time to time hasn't come around for a while. 
and is making me sick with worry. I know they can be independent souls, but she's never been one to turn down a good meal. All right, we'll check out the side quest. And we'll do the proto relic stuff. And then we got another match of Queen's Blood we got to do somewhere. I can't remember where. And we got a picture to take for Snap. We definitely got some things to do. Let's save the game right here. Back. great voice oh you flatter me i didn't even know i was doing it you see this cat i feed sometimes has gone missing and when i worry i cannot help but see hey sounds like a job for a merc doesn't it I don't want to hear you sing anymore. We'll just find your cat. Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. Definitely will. All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? Named your cat Fluffy. It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, This little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. <laughs> Hard to believe looking at me now. I heard that too. There's the cat. 
Let's go. There's a whole bunch of cats here. I can't believe it. Fluffy? Hey, girl. How you doing? It's me, Tifa. Remember? You're okay. Thank God. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. All right, Fluffy. Oh, great. Leave him alone. There goes that. Come on. Fluffy. Fluffy.
Plasma discharge. and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. Stray too far from Fluffy and her kittens and they will lose their way. Keep track of them and stay close by as you lead them back to the village. Fluffy. Outside of Fluffy, 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 Cloud, just grab the cat and carry it. Oh no, because of the kittens, I guess. I mean, we got six people, two in each arm. Come on, people, let's get it together. her litter on the mountain oh sweetling you're going to be a great mommy i hope this is all right it wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens couldn't just leave them so don't be silly dear you did the right thing i'll take excellent care of this family they'll want for nothing long i've dreamed of opening my home to little ones to play and rub and love if I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? That's fluffy. Kittens. We'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. 
exactly what I would have said. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud. There you go, Tifa. What a wonderful idea. You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. Practice. Let's not begin performance. Let's not do a horrible job. Oh my god. Begin performance. Wish me luck.
Nice. Bravo. Bravo. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. <laughs> How was it? Honestly, I'm impressed. You sure you haven't played since you were a kid? <laughs> wow. A genuine compliment. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. <coughs> Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang. <laughs> Which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really? But you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. Nice. Tifa is fully happy. Oh, yeah, Red and Tifa I'm fully sure happy. Now it's just myself. time to get Earth there. To mark once with different symptoms. So you want to match a queen's blood, Dale? No, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play queen's blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing queen's blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. Well, I'll give him the challenge he's been looking for. I gotta go to Gongaga, Regina. At least now I know where she's at.
There we go. My turn. And it's over. I win. seen him this happy. Uh, happy sound. It must have been a great match. Oh, That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. You think someone would brief us on these things? Considering we're the ones. This is where we care for the them. patients. We provide checkups, treatments, whatever they need. Alright. The doctor will see you now. Breaking news at this hour. In response to Oh wait. In it, the president denounced the SRT. Uh, the music dude is here. Would you care to share a performance with me? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Don't Which worry. music It'll piece am I missing? How may I be of service to you? Tell me which music I'm missing. This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments, whatever they need. Did I miss them in Cosmo Canyon? That's the only thing I could think of. Let's go visit the Chocobo stage. your mother her name's a fauna right maybe so what that sounds like a yes to me i called it the second i saw you boy am i ever glad i sent up smoke tell me how's she doing good 
No. She's dead. You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee high to a tonberry. And I was what? Tall as a smogger, I'd wager. Nine thousand gil, nice. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, said we're getting out of here. Hey, good to go. Let's get a move on then. <laughs> It. Welcome to the crew. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Please, I think 
Casey. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Uh. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Wow, I can't wait to fly the high wind. The tiny Bronco is destroyed, just like in the original.
straight through the ravine and on the coast of El Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Coast of El Sol, sir. Roger that. Filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. But 20 years back, one of our more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the Keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the Gold Saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. But it's there. It wasn't. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. Sure, Sid. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Why you gotta be you so rough, right? Sid? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? 
Of course they met you. <laughs> now that the tiny Bronco is avail is able to cross the meta Meridian Sea? Yeah, Meridian Sea? Ocean? Meridian Ocean. I don't know why I said Meridian Sea. Listen, I've been playing for too long. You can fast travel to any location from the map. Access with the map button to board the tiny Bronco. Speak to Sid at the nearest port or select the vessel from the map screen. The SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard around the world unsettling folks everywhere check the notice boards as you travel to locations both old and new and see if anyone needs help from a hand for hire also there's new side missions the attractions at the gold saucer have undergone a series of renovations as they have many games available in other regions try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. Note that some mini games will not be updated until certain conditions are met. What's this? Rampage. It's based on a true story. How about it? Want to hear? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Gather round and hearken to my tale. Before steel birds soared through the skies and tracks wove across the land, wooden ships were the primary means of travel. One such ship was crewed not by men. Monsters, aliens, in the high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, leaving crimson waters in their wake. But the world's oceans now his sole dominion. Their captain was declared the pirate king. As for the king's treasure, near his passing, he took his most prized possession, quartered it, and sealed those pieces away with his four finest mates to forever stand guard. Whatever he hid, this map should point us to the locations in which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away seems to have broken as well. Though the pirate king's treasure is now ours to seek, four ferocious fiends yet stand in our way. Doubtless, he'll put up quite a fight. And I, for one, can't wait! That's cool. Take to the open ocean with the tiny Bronco and follow the treasure map to recover the long lost relics of the Pirate King. Once you have assembled all four pieces, you can transmute a powerful accessory once used by this fabled washbuckler. like the game really opened up here and we got a lot to do a lot of new quests unlock there's a whole bunch of stuff to do but we're gonna check that out next time before we head on to the gold saucer we're gonna face regina at uh gongaga and then go back to all the other areas and regions and see what new quests there are but whoa what an episode crazy crazy we finally got Sid and Vincent 
they joined the party, though they're not officially part of the party, but they're at least together. We're all together now on our last, le last leg of our journey. And uh, I can't wait to see the Temple of the Ancients, to see the Forgotten Capital, and to do the rest of these side quests. And we also missed some things in the Corral region, which hopefully now they've unlocked. But we'll find out next time. As always, if you've enjoyed my playthrough so far, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take it easy. And peace out. God, I love this game. <laughs>